Now we'll talk about the first law of thermodynamics. Thermo meaning heat, dynamics meaning change. So this is looking at the heat flow for a system. But we also include work. So we say that the change in energy, we use the symbol U for internal energy, the change in energy for a process is equal to the heat flow plus the work. So now that we can calculate heat and work, <coughs> we can just add those two terms together to get the delta U, the energy change for a process. So, say we have a reaction, delta H, for a reaction is equal to, say, negative 250 kilojoules. So it releases a lot of heat, like a combustion reaction, and we get some work performed as well. So if that, say that's negative 15 kilojoules. And we want to know what delta U is for the process. Remember, delta H is equal to Q at constant pressure, and work is performed at constant pressure and so we can just substitute Q for delta H so delta U would be equal to Q which is minus 250 kilojoules plus the work which is minus 15 kilojoules so the change in energy for that process would be minus 265 kilojoules so that means that the system, whether it's an internal combustion energy or a combustion reaction with the expansion due to gases, lost 265 kilojoules of energy because of the negative sign. Lost by the system, whatever our system is. Could be an engine, could be a turbine, a combustion reaction, an explosion, so whatever that system is, the sign designates the direction of heat and work flow. So in this case, it was flowing from the system into the surroundings. 